these pro these problems aren't actually that difficult once you understand what happens, right? Uh, I hope that I hope that you'll feel that way. That's right. Yeah. I mean, like um, that seems like something that if we knew what we were supposed like what we, we, we supposed to come up with, it, yeah, yeah, we just had no sense of what we were supposed right. to try to make. That's right. Well, yeah. Although remember, um, it's not, uh, we don't necessarily want to think of it as we're not trying. We're not trying to make something. We're just asking what what is the reasonable reaction to happen here. Again, you want to ask what are the functional groups and what's a reasonable reaction for these functional groups to go so through. That's I, the, the thought process. I have another question. If, uh, so with alcohols, we're pretty much going to end up, like when we're doing stuff with alcohols, we're going to end up with a cyclic molecule. No. Oh, no, only, only if the alcohol ends up attacking itself. So that was only one thing you can do with an alcohol. Well, when there's, will it not attack itself? When it attacks somebody else. So yeah, so there's a bunch of different types of examples, basically. Okay. So uh, let's see if we can come up with a, uh, another example here. Well, maybe I can use that example that you had in your notes there. So, well, that was alcohols, basically. Maybe the... So this is uh, from your lecture? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that might be a good example for us to uh, go through here. So Isn't that one just the same as we just... Well, no, because there you just... Okay, yeah. So first of all... This is not exactly the same as what you had in your notes, but let's start with this. Um, so this is kind of a trick question. How would we predict the products here? Two. Two of the molecules. Uh, so we're saying we have two equivalents of this as starting materials. That's right. Well, depend, nothing's going to happen unless you add something. Yeah, why not? Let's see uh, why not. So let's, let's go through the thought process. It's a good start to start by looking for a good, well, there's no strong acids or bases here, so we're not going to do that. Okay. Another good thing to do is to ask if we have any good leaving groups. No. 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 Neutral oxygen is not a good leaving group, so no reaction. That's the real reason. It's not because there's two of the same thing. It's because there's no good leaving group. Um, it's because there's no good leaving group. So that's a, a good initial step. So would your, would your answer be no reaction, or would, could you yeah, rewrite no reaction. the starting product? I'm sorry? Could you rewrite the starting products? You would want to say no reaction. Okay. Yeah, no reaction. So looking at this sample exam here, he actually has a bunch of no reaction examples. So this wouldn't be that uh, yeah. unrealistic. All right, so this would be no reaction. But now, let's figure out what's going to happen here. What's going to happen here first? Oh, it'll be deprotonated because it's a strong acid. Yeah, okay. except you want to say it's going to be it's going oh, to protonate, protonate somebody. I guess it's it's you could say the acid will be deprotonated, but it's the substrate will be protonated. So yeah, we have to get into the habit of looking out for these strong acids and strong bases. When we see a strong acid or a strong base, we got to focus on that first. So since this is a strong acid, um, we should start with the protonation. So let's try drawing the mechanism and the product for that. Start. Okay, I don't think we've actually done an example of a protonation before, so let's go through this. Who's going to be protonated? The O, H. The O, H. The O, or the H. The o. Yeah, so we always want to be specific about the specific atom. This oxygen will be protonated. We saw earlier that if you've got a strong base, you should look for an electronegative atom to deprotonate. Well, if you have a strong acid, you should look for an electronegative atom to protonate, kind of the same way. So if we had a strong base, we'd look for an electronegative atom to deprotonate. 
and with a strong acid, we look for someone with a lone pair to protonate. All right, so this oxygen, is this going to be at the head or the tail? The head. The head. I mean the tail. The, the initial part. It's the head. It's the tail. Is this the head or the tail? <laughs> oh, for me, that's the head, because it's like where I'm starting. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I said head first. Yeah. yeah, so we better clarify that. Is this the head or the tail? And this is the head? Yeah. Okay, so let's all use those same terms. Uh, these are really <laughs> crucial terms. This is also terms that the second language book uses, so it's important to, uh, to be clear about this. So this is the tail. These are the best terms, because remember the electrons are going from here to here. All right, so should this be at the head or the tail? Tail. 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 Um, it's going to donate its lone pair. Remember, you can't put the tail on the atom. You've got to draw on the lone pair for the tail to come from. So here is the one case where you have to show the lone pair. So there's someone for the tail to be at. And who am I going to put at the head? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. Because the whole point is to protonate this oxygen. All right, now I need one more arrow because the hydrogen can't be bonded to two things at the same time. So, it has to so these separate. electrons have to kick off onto the bromine over here. So that puts, gives us our second arrow. So make sure that your arrows look exactly like the arrows we have uh, on the board. So those would be our arrows. And now we should be able to draw the products from that. So this pair of electrons is gone from a pair, a lone pair, to the bond. Since this is at the initial tail, it should be coming positive. That's very really crucial to put in the charge. Don't leave out the charges. Uh, then the bromine has gained a new pair, and it's at the final head, so it should be negative. OK, so this gives us our products. So it's really crucial to be able to draw the mechanism and the products for a protonation or a deprotonation. Acid-based chemistry is something that's usually covered pretty quickly in the first couple of weeks, and then people don't realize how crucial that's going to be through the whole rest of the course. You might even want to go back and reread the chapter on acids and bases now in the second language book. But anyway, we've covered the basics here. Okay, so this would give us um, this product over here. Okay, now what happens next is a little bit tricky. Uh, I'll give you guys a chance to predict it, but uh, it might be a little tough to come up with now, because this is not the final product. Um, so we should ask, do we have any good leaving groups now? Leaving groups? Yeah. Do we have any good leaving groups? Do we have any, any atom that's a good leaving group? Um, yeah, the oxygen. Oxygen plus? Yes, positive. Yeah. Remember that pretty much anyone with a positive charge is a good leaving group. Just about anybody with a positive charge is a good leaving group, because a leaving group has to want to take electrons. So uh, you can see at the bottom of page two of the handout, oxygen with a positive charge is a good leaving so group. So is the BR going to attach? The o. Now, it wouldn't attack, attach to the O, it might attack this alpha carbon. Yeah. yeah, that's one thing that could happen. Mm -hmm. However, that's not really the most interesting reaction here, although you're right, that's one of the things that will happen here. One thing is that we could have an SN2 where the bromide uh, attacks here. Um, however, um, what we're going to do here instead is so we should ask so who's the alpha carbon? The one. The one. This one here. As soon as you find the leaving group, find the alpha carbon and label it. Now, besides this bromide, are there any other nucleophiles around? The starting material? Oh, wait a second here. I'm confused. <coughs> yeah, they use the starting material. The starting material. So remember that even though I only drew one of these, it's not like there's only one molecule in solution, right? There's billions of these in solution. And even though some of these have been protonated, some of them probably still haven't been protonated yet, especially because we would usually use maybe a catalytic amount of this hydrogen bromide. I should have said just a catalytic amount of the hydrogen bromide. Um, okay, so in that case, So let's draw the arrows for what's going to happen here then.
Is this going to be an SN1 or an SN2 reaction? Primary. It's primary because it's attached to one other carbon. <coughs> so if this is primary, is it going to be SN1 or SN2? SN2. It's got to be SN2. Because remember that SN1 would require you to form a carbocation. It's impossible to form a primary carbocation. So um, we're not going to be able to um, do an SN1. This has to be an SN2 because this is a primary carbocation. So let's try drawing the arrows for that. Mm -hmm. 